you, Arnold, Rich Gaspari, maybe a couple others, really are a credit to all of us because, you know, not only were you a world-class top bodybuilder, but you took that into the business world and applied those same, everything you did, you learned in, in bodybuilding, I think you applied and you were successful in business too and became an internationally known businessman. So. What I've always told, uh, what I've always told uh, uh, the, the bodybuilders when they ask me about the business is that those very things that you learn as a bodybuilder to be disciplined and uh, to be persistent and to be able to do things repetitively again and again and again, you know, working out when you don't feel like working out, you know, it's that same work ethic that you apply in business will make you successful. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. that's so true. And, uh, and I'm also thinking about, uh, you know, how you uh, affected the branch and, uh, you, know, you know, how champions foster champions. You know, so it's kind of cool to see the environment uh, that we all come from and, uh, and especially you guys and with Ronnie Coleman and where you, go, you know, grew up in, in uh, Metroflex Arlington and, and uh, you know, creating that environment of uh, champions, you know. Michael, thank you for, for that. And I wanted to say, you know, I was talking to Branch earlier, you know, and just uh, uh, adding some color to that comment you made about champions, creating champions and, and helping other champions. I was just you know, telling Branch how much Hunter looks up to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and how uh, now that, you know, where we're Branch and I are now, that how we can mentor some of these younger guys, yeah. you know, and steer them down the right path. Exactly. Yeah, that's, and that's, uh, you know, why it feels so good to, to have the both of you here in this, uh, you know, in the sofa here at Destination with the gym in the background and all the aspiring, uh, uh, people here, you know, great athletes that, uh, you know, now can rub shoulders with uh, people like you and, um, you know, the, uh, it's kind of like what Destination is all about and so that's, uh, that's exciting for me, you know. That's exciting for me too. Yeah. Just and glad then, to be here. Yeah, and, and, and for me and uh, with, uh, with my own business, uh, through life, you know, like you said, I'm applying all that uh, uh, what I, you know, learned as a young bodybuilder into to my fitness uh, uh, ambitions and uh, the business ambitions and all that. And uh, I would like to hear more about uh, your uh, your career, you know, as a as a pro, but also how you how did you take that into the to the business aspect? Absolutely. Well. Um you know, as, as far as my bodybuilding history, I'm a past winner of the IFBB Mr. Universe. I won my pro debut in 1986, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, IFBB Night of the Champions. Yeah. And so just as a little sidebar, that's why it was so important for Hunter to win his pro debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to win his pro debut also, you so, know, and just so follow along I, the steps. When I saw you in Gothenburg, uh, 87? 1987. That yeah. would have been my first uh, Mr. Olympia. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I took third in that one. And, um, you know, I placed top four in uh, seven consecutive Mr. Olympias, uh, including two seconds. Um, and then once, once I retired in 1995, I launched Labrador Nutrition because I, I thought that I could do a better job than uh, some of the, uh, the majority of the suppl uh, supplement companies that were out there. You know, and I felt that uh, being an athlete, I had uh, experience that I could bring to the table, you know, you know by athletes for athletes. Yeah. And, um, and so we launched with Lean Body, the uh, Lean Body uh, meal replacement powders out of a little 2,000 square foot office warehouse space. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, within six years, we were an Inc. 500 company, uh, 500 fastest growing privately held companies in the United States. Impressive. Yeah, thank you. And, um, you know, but I, really I have to give the credit to our customers, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and the uh, bodybuilders and athletes that uh, put their, uh, their trust in us. Yeah. You know, our, our mission is, is to, help, uh, to help athletes, bodybuilders, and lay people, people of all, from all walks of life, uh, to get into great shape and stay healthy for life. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you do now. Well, I've always, uh, I've always had a, besides being a pro bodybuilder, I've always had a, a business, you know, my, my wife had a logistics company, mm -hmm. you know, for 10 years that we sold a couple years ago, and then uh, two years ago I partnered with uh, Scott James, mm -hmm. who was the uh, original founder of BSN, mm -hmm. and uh, he sold that, you know, a number of years ago, and then uh, me and him together, we got together and uh, we started Launch Wicked Cuts, which is a beef jerky company. We have beef jerky, turkey jerky, these kind of things. Yeah. And um, so if you told me four years ago I was going to be uh, on a beef jerky company, I would have laughed at you. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, I saw an opportunity and um, I saw the potential in it. And so we uh, we ran with it and we're doing exceptionally well, you know, especially this year. We've grown by almost 300%. Oh. And uh, right now the problem is just trying to keep up with the growth. Yeah. 
So, but going back to what Lee said, you know, by everything I have in life, I give credit to bodybuilding mm -hmm. because bodybuilding taught me the work ethic, the discipline, and the determination, and the ability to grind, to just grind. to just keep going and going and going and going. And that grinding is what's hard mm -hmm. because you know when I say grind, it takes you on average about ten years to turn pro. Mm -hmm. Some people do it sooner, some a little less, you know, some a little more. But um, it's just grinding day in and day out, which you never lose sight of your goal. Even when uh, nobody's looking. That's right. Yeah. That's when it counts the most because, yeah. you know, once all the cameras are off you, you're off the stage, and you're in, in the gym there by yourself, that's when it counts mm -hmm. the most. And um, so if you take all those and everything, everything that you learn from bodybuilding and training and you can apply that into business yeah. and your work ethic, you'll be successful. It's just then it's a matter of how successful will you be. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I didn't, uh, I mean, I had dreams, I was looking up to you, uh, you were kind of like in the same uh, height division a little bit, uh, so I was thinking, oh, one day I'm going to be like uh, Lila Brada, but uh, I steered away, uh, I did, uh, you know, my career was very short, uh, but uh, I took everything that I learned in a short amount of time and, and put that into to the business, and I got the same uh, satisfaction out of that as uh, you know being you know competing and doing the bodybuilding on a on a high level. So. Body bodybuilding is a springboard yeah. for all of us. Yeah. You know, it's it's a, it's a training ground. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Uh, one thing that uh, you know hits me, and I was kind of like uh, trying to listen here, especially to what you said uh, uh, about giving. Uh, to me, uh, the more I, I feel like the more I'm giving in uh, in the, the whole business aspect, the more you know uh, we receive. So, uh, uh, so if we give uh, out of our knowledge we are fostering new champions. It's kind of, and that trickles down in the business and everything. And uh, I have felt that has been a, like a huge learning lesson for me to, you know, it feels like uh, if you give even when you don't have anything, it's kind of like it, you know, pays uh, so much uh, back, which I think is a... No, there's no doubt, it's, uh, it's karma. You know, it, it, always come, it always comes back to you. You know, and even when you don't have anything material to give, you can always give of your time and experience. Yeah. You can share that uh, with someone, and a lot of times that's the most valuable thing yeah. that you can give people is your experience and your your knowledge uh, to educate them. Yeah. That's one of the things that we've always prided ourselves on from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, as as a company, Labrador Nutrition uh, strives to educate people, not just produce a product, yeah, exactly. but education through our newsletters, you know, through our videos, and you know, and other other formats. Uh, to try to teach people how to get in shape and stay in shape for the rest of their so lives. Think, uh, what was your mission again, the mission statement? So our, our, our mission, uh, uh, very simply, is, is to help people with the nutritional know-how that they need and the products to get into the best shape of their life and stay healthy for life. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of giving in that and the products is like just... Uh, and and, and to, to me that's really uh, w the most gratifying uh, part of it. Yeah. You know, anybody can put out a product, but if, if you actually teach people, yeah. you know, uh, and uh, how to use the, the products and you teach them how to train and you teach them how to eat and how to create the lifestyle, you know, we'll get these, uh, we'll get these letters from people, you know, that two years ago I weighed 300 pounds and, you know, because of what we learned, you know, through your, your ed educational materials and using your products, you know, we, uh, I lost 150 pounds, you know, I got off my, my blood pressure medications. That kind of thing to me is gratifying. That's, that's why we're in business. Uh, that's good. It's a little bit like with the destination, we have a little bit of those stories here and, and, uh, and uh, one of my big uh, passions uh, in life is to, to help uh, people who, who are driven by passion and purpose and uh, you know uh, helping athletes like uh, Hunter and you know and, and Branch and you know to, to reach their goals and uh, be a little bit part of that journey. So. And, and I think I think that we uh, we, we uh, become um, part of each other's journeys yeah. along the way yeah. you know it's all intertwined yeah. you know Branch and I go way back you know, way, way back, and you know, Michael, the things that you're doing, you know, everything's intertwined, you know, and ev everybody's uh, walking in the same direction, which is, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the goal to get better and to make others better as, as we move forward and make ourselves better.